the strollers in wheelchairs they either need to be folded please secure them on the floor of the tram no lab or double seating no eating drinking or smoking hey i'm clint i'm amber and we do cast, cast member church. church Woo! yeah with Disney the first time that we brought our kids here. Um, our oldest son Jack was about four years old and we walked in the Magic Kingdom. He saw Cinderella's castle. He was completely in awe and there was a stage show going on and during that stage show Mickey was encouraging everybody to say dreams come true. So little dreams four, come so true. So little four-year-old Jack is standing on a trash can so that he can have a better yeah. view with everything he's got saying everything dreams in come his true. Dream. Dreams come true. And that moment we were sold. We that were, was it. <laughs> we were and over time, our love for Disney started to transform into the love for the people that actually helped make the magic. Yep. And so we just fell in love with cast members that we just wanted to be able to pour back into them. And value them. And, and value them not only by recognizing them and knowing them for the great job that they've done, but for us to be able to speak life and truth into them, which is something that's so much greater than even what the Walt Disney Company can Absolutely. offer. Absolutely. All right, so our daughter Merritt, who is five, five. Yeah. every time we come into the park, the very first thing that she says is she'll ask one of us, what time of day is it? Is it morning, is it afternoon, or is it evening? Because she wants to make sure that she greets every cast member that she sees with the appropriate time of day. She'll walk up to everybody and say, good evening, good evening, have a great day, good evening. <laughs> so do you guys wave at everybody? We do, we, we do try to wave at everybody, and you get really good at reading their name tags too. So you wave and you say, Hi, Julie. Hi, I have, Sarah. I have like eagle eye vision. I can spot a name tag. Every Wednesday, we have the opportunity to prayer walk in each of the parks. So every week, we pick a park, and we basically just meet up with the intention of going around and praying for cast members, whether directly talking to them or just as we walk by looking at their name tag and and asking God to be with them for that day. We pray that God's presence would be with them, that God's provision would be with them, that we would be able to praise God within the midst of these parks. There was one instance where there was a cast member and we had been walking by and there was a guest that was kind of not happy with her. Mm -hmm. um, and so we had the opportunity to step in after that moment and just say, hey, are you okay? And um, just kind of let her know why we were there in the park that day. And she just kind of broke down crying she said that was her first day back at work after a week because her daughter had been assaulted at school. And so in that moment, we got to be the hands and feet of Jesus and say, God brought us here today to this park just for you, just to talk to you, just to pray with you. And it was so neat just to realize that that small step of obedience can show someone that God cares about them, that he's thinking about them and he knows what's going on in their life. Cast Member Church was planted seven years ago based on the idea that the future cultural influencers are working here right now. We've connected cast members to Jesus very simply by being an example, living the life that we talk about when we read scripture. We want them to see Jesus, not just hear about him. When you come to the Disney parks, let me tell you how you can love cast members. Every single one of them wears a name tag. Call them by their name. Ask them about what brought them to Disney. Ask them what their favorite thing is about their role at Disney. Ask them what they plan on doing after they leave Disney. That way you learn a little bit about their past, their present, and their future, and they'll have shared their story with you. Cast Member Church shows love for the stranger by going outside of our comfort zones and meeting people where they are. And so being at Disney World, we really feel strongly that God wants us to see those people behind the scenes, see those people serving other people, see those cast members to love on. And it doesn't take a specific skill. What it really takes is a, a ticket. It's just entrance. So if you have an annual pass, this is something that you absolutely can do. You yes. can go in for the purpose of praying for, interceding for, encouraging and loving on the people that actually work for these different organizations. Whether it's Disney, whether it's Universal, whether it's SeaWorld, you are strategically placed in the center of influence in the world. Yep. And you center. can actually bring hope to the people that are the future influencers of society. So at the end of every evening, when our family's been at the park together, one thing that we do is each of our kids will make sure that they go and find at least three different cast members yep. and just go up and tell them thank you. There's so many instances where even uh, with the custodial staff, 
uh, Merritt walked up and just uh, told the custodial staff one night, thank you so much for taking our trash out today. And he just broke down for a second. Merritt gave him a big old hug and just made him feel like he was really recognized. And I think that's just that step that helps people get a little bit closer to a relationship with Jesus, understanding their value.